Greetings, my name is Andy Carter. I'm a professional engineer out of the state of Texas. In this tutorial we're going to take an existing ground surface and cut a very basic HECRAS model out of Civil 3D. This is part one of a three-part tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open Civil 3D and you'll notice that we have a very basic existing surface. The first thing we need to do to get a HECRAS model is to find an alignment for the stream center line. I'm going to create a polyline and I'm going to create the alignment from downstream to upstream. That's very important. Um, for this tutorial I'm going to be pretty loose. I'm not going to be as detailed as you might want to be on your own study. This is just for the sake of demonstrating the capabilities that Civil 3D has regarding HECRAS. Notice I'm following the Thalweg of the creek, the center line. We'll go ahead and enter. Now I'm going to go to the home option on the ribbon. I'm going to select alignment and create alignment from objects. I'm going to create that, I'm going to pick that polyline that we just uh, created. I'm going to say enter and it's going to ask us for the name. We're going to use this river CL. We use a center line option. There's this add curves between tangents. We don't want to smooth the river. We want to keep the point of intersections uh, as we clicked. So I'm going to uncheck that. Everything else looks okay. We'll say okay. Now we've got our alignment. The next thing we want to do is draw our cross sections. It doesn't matter if they're left to right or right to left. Uh, Civil 3D will export them all in one direction once we do the export. Simply just going to create some standard uh, lightweight polylines, just a polyline command. It doesn't really matter how many you do. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to just uh, I'll put a few in. As far as point of intersections, it doesn't matter. Uh, just to prove to everybody that direction does not matter, I'll draw one in the opposite direction. I'm going to draw another one down here. And let's add a couple more at the very top of the creek itself. I'm trying to draw these where they're uh, perpendicular to the conveyance. Uh, that would be typical for a RAS analysis. So we've got oh, eight cross sections. That's going to be plenty for this tutorial. Under the sample lines option, this is I'm on the home option of the river uh, ribbon tab, and under profile and section views, we'll pick sample lines. And if you notice in the command line, it says select at the top of the screen. It says select an alignment or hit enter. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to pick that river CL, and it's going to ask us for a sample line connection uh, collection name. I'm going to call that river. Uh, we'll call it XS for cross section, and we'll say OK. And at this little box right here, there's select existing polylines, that bottom option. And it's going to allow us to draw a box and pick all the polylines that we drew for the cross sections. I'm going to hit enter. Now, all those cross sections are sample lines from the river center line alignment. We have everything we need to export a HECRAS file. So, under the output option of the ribbon, notice there's this export to HECRAS routine. It's going to ask us what surface we want to sample those cross sections off of. We're going to say EG for existing ground. The alignment that we're going to use for the river center line is that river CL. The sample line group or the cross sections is going to be river XS. Now, once to export a HECRAS stream center line, I'm going to call this Carter's branch. And I'm going to hit export. It's going to ask us where we want to put it. I'm going to put it under my C drive and I've got a HECRAS tutor folder and we'll call this uh, Carter's branch dot geo that is the export format that HECRAS, uh, Civil 3D will export HECRAS files as. We'll say save and we'll say OK. We're going to jump over into HECRAS and we're going to try to bring that geo file in. So let's go ahead and say new project I'm going to put it under that same directory just to keep everything in the same place. Uh, let's see if I can find that. That's the C drive and HECRAS Tutor. I'm going to call this project uh, Carter's Branch again. And we'll say OK. We'll leave it in English units. Now we'll pick the geometry button and we'll say File, Import, GIS Format. We're going to use that Carter's Branch. We'll say OK. We'll just say finished import, selecting all the defaults. 
we'll notice we have some problems. The stream is from downstream to upstream. Um, it is flowing from downstream to upstream. That's incorrect. And if you check the cross-section arrows, you'll notice that they're left to right looking upstream. That's completely backwards from standard HECRAS nomenclature. In part two of this tutorial, we will actually correct that, flip it, and get a good RAS model run. Uh, this concludes part one tutorial. Please join me for the next two parts as we progress and ultimately get to a floodplain delineation in just a few minutes.